So the way the convoys can recruit alongside of having the higher mercenaries, you can actually, on a completed convoy, you can effectively gain a random unit from that area. As you saw, we got a War Sphinx, and that is purely because of the fact that I sent one of my convoys all the way over to the desert, and once it's successfully completed, I effectively gained uh, the unit accordingly, uh, which was a Tomb King unit, as that's the destination of them. For example, with Castle Drakenhof as well, if you send them there, also it's owned by friends right now, I don't believe that matters, uh, you will effectively gain Vampire units, as within some of my rosters, uh, we've been given uh, Vargulfs, and we've been given Grave Guards, and uh, some of the units are random pop-ups, so let's see if I can find the Dragon. Yeah, the Black Dragon was actually a pop-up, whereas the War Hydra, Feral Mammoth, and the Giant uh, was gained through sending them uh, up to North, and uh, within Norsken uh, territories is how I obtained those. But the convoy system is really cool. I'm really happy to see that you can recruit and gain units from effectively finishing uh, your convoys. And the reason I know this is because of the fact that uh, this tech tree says all convoys gain additional units when completing a convoy route, which is the reason why I'm pretty certain that's how they actually gain the units. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching as always. Have a nice day and make sure to check out my other content on the screen now.